all thought creates a layer of energy of resistance in the body, all ego based thoughts. So 99.9% .9 of our thoughts are ego, egocentric. It's all the I thoughts, the me thoughts. He said this, I should do that. Daydreaming, past, future. It only exists in the mind. There's no such thing as past or future. So outside of that is planning. And obviously, 99.9% yeah, .9 of our thoughts during our day are, are not planning. It's just daydreaming or <laughs> complaining, bitching and moaning. Uh, it's basically, it's not us. You know, the relief is it's not us. It's something else. It is the mind. And that's what the mind does. Problem solves or it looks for problems that don't exist. So every ego-based thought. Now, even when you hear that, be careful of how your mind responds to hearing that. Your mind will say, oh, I don't have that many ego-based thoughts. But once you observe and question a lot of your thoughts, you'll see that, yeah, 99 out of 100 are, are ego-centered around the I and the me and my life and what I need to do and what other people need to do for me. That's all the ego. And that's not what you are. You're something separate from that. So you're looking at that voice and you're thinking it's you. You're thinking you're thinking <laughs> it's not you. So every one of these thoughts comes with a layer of tension. There's a layer of pressure. And uh, uh, some of you have experienced this of late and working with me that as we observe the thoughts and as we're observing the body, we can actually begin to see, it's like a little layer of dust. You know, really fine dust, not sand like flour um, or soot from a chimney from a fireplace, really fine dust. So with each of these thoughts, they're based on the me, they're based on the ego mind, they're based and founded in the idea that the imagination, the theory of free will. So there's no such thing as free will. If you've been in the Sundays or if you're uh, working one on one with me, I don't have time to go into that in detail now, but you'll have a good awareness of what that means, that there is no such thing as, as free will. But when we think we have a when we think we have a thought, I think, oh, I'm going to. I'm going to go on holidays to this place. So this is not you. This is the ego mind, which thinks that's what it does. And as soon as it thinks I'm going to go on holiday to this place, it's created two things. It's created a future, which doesn't exist, can never be experienced. And it's also created that layer of, of tension, of pressure, that layer of dust that settles into the body. And that comes from free will, sorry, from the idea of free will. Free will doesn't exist. So when it says, I'm going to go on holiday, there's an immediate layer of tension, pressure in the body. Oh, pressure. Because that I, which is not you, then thinks, oh, I got to make this happen. And that can be the holiday or that can be, I'm going to go over and get a glass of water. You know, it can be something really simple. I'm going to take my shoes off. Thought, pressure, free will time and both both so as as we inquire and look at this more and more and more it it's fascinating because it come becomes so obvious it's it's so obvious that those two things don't exist but yeah we were we're so asleep that we're and we never look back we never question any of these thoughts so we're just convinced okay i'm gonna go on holiday <laughs> It's amazing. It's like the low self-esteem thing of like, I'm fucking not good. I fucked up my life. Suicidal. I shouldn't have married that person. I shouldn't have bought that house. I shouldn't have got that job, whatever it may be. And it's we just go, okay. <laughs> it really is. It's fascinating and it's so comical that whatever this thing that's not us says to us, we just nod. A stranger walked up to you in the street and says, see that bridge over there? Yeah, you go and jump over that. Okay. You walk across trying to get through the traffic. Hang on, hang on. You're holding the traffic up. You get, you get across. Okay, I'm going to jump off the bridge now. Like it's fucking, it's absolutely fascinating. It's one of the most fascinating things I've discovered in the last few years. How 
blind. And this is why I've written, you know, a number of times on Instagram that, you know, we're not awake at all. It's, it's such an arrogant and, and egoic thing to say, I woke up and I used to say it too, you know, I'm not awake at all now. I can see these days, but awakening is actually seeing what's happening here. And most of the time, like I'm, I'm aware of little bits of it. It's like, it's like being asleep at night and having glimpses of a lucid dream and seeing, Oh, holy fuck. Whoa, this is just unfolding. Like, whoa, oh, hey, oh whoa, hang on a second. <laughs> and then you wake up and you're in the day and you think that you're awake. But then we begin to realize, fucking hell, I'm unconscious for most of this time. There's all sorts of shit going through here. Oh, jump off the bridge. Okay. <laughs> so it's 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 a body of work, I suppose, to to turn back and begin to train ourselves to turn back or the being to train itself to turn back and look and go, Ooh, who said that? Hang on a second. Jump off the bridge or get the glass of water. You should tie your shoes. Oh, I should I have to tie my shoes. Okay. Hey, whoa, 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 hang on a second. Who said that? Who are you? Hmm? It's the mind. It's the egoic mind. Anyway, the, I wanted to keep this short. The point is, is that with every egoic thought and all these plans and decisions and criticisms, they're all founded in, in a past or future, things we should have done, things we want to do, want to do. And also the idea of free will, which is only a thought. It's only founded in mind outside of the now and outside of mind. Everything's just unfolding. There's fucking no such thing as free will whatsoever. So whatever you, one of those thoughts, there's a layer of that dust in the body. And then as some of you have discovered that from working with me recently, as we, as we start to question the thoughts and unravel this, we're kind of walking backwards. We're kind of, we're looking back at all this stuff. Then you encounter, and to me, it, I liken it to, you know, if you're, if you cover, well, people do this now, women do this, you know, they cover themselves in mud like mud baths or whatever it's called uh, for kind of skin stuff, whatever they're called, face masks and all that shit. And it, it's a layer of dried, like caked mud, whatever it may be. And then be, that dries out and you might fall asleep or you might sit in the sun and then you begin to become aware that, oh, holy shit, like, oh, I can feel it. And the layers crack. And that's uh, exactly what I've been experiencing probably for the last six months that it's, encountering the cracks and the layers now first of all they're like big thick layers that crack away and then then it's like you encounter like a layer of soot just a layer of dust very fine dust almost invisible almost indescribable or undetectable and that in a moment of stillness or in a meditation it's like ah oh, there's another layer of dust and it just cracks it just dissipates so it's like the heavier, thicker stuff comes first. And then there's such fine layers. And I've often said, you know, I've worked with people who think, oh, yeah, I'm still, I'm present, I'm in the body. And then as they keep practicing, they go deeper and deeper into the bones, into the joints, into the organs. And I often get messages, people saying, oh, wow, I never felt my stomach before. Or I never felt my knee or whatever it may be. Just that depth. So it's just interesting to see that as you're having those egocentric thoughts, adding a layer of dust, adding a layer of dust. And then as we work back and we begin to question those thoughts, bit by bit, those layers of dust fall away. Everything kind of clears up, becomes clearer and clearer. Perception is clearer and clearer. There's less beliefs, less egocentric thoughts, uh, which means there's no fuel for the news or the the jibber jabber sludge jab or the flu or whatever it may be because you're clear you're looking through these things anyway thanks for listening i hope to see you in zoom uh be well be well and know that in your core and in your being that there is nothing wrong and there never was anything wrong. The only thing potentially wrong in air quote inverted commas is your perception. That's all it is. Mind is not you. Mind solves problems that don't exist. That's all it does. <laughs>
So outside of mind, everything is absolutely perfect. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Be well. <laughs>